Hi guys, welcome to the video. My name's Hugh and I'm from Home Network Solutions Berkshire. And in this video, we're gonna tell you how to set up Starlink with a Unify router. In this case, we've got the Generation 2 Starlink and we've got a Unify Dream router, but the same principles apply for a Dream Machine, a Dream Machine Pro, Dream Machine SE, USG, all of it, it's the same principles apply. So, the first thing to do is we've got to connect the Generation 2 Starlink to the Unify router. And the reason is, is because the Starlink is going to be providing the internet and the Dream Machine is going to be basically controlling the local network. So, Starlink Generation 2 doesn't come with an Ethernet port on it. It is a completely wireless model. So, in order to connect it, the first thing you have to do is get an Ethernet adapter from the Starlink store. Um, it's very simple. You just go into the app, down into the uh, into your account, set uh, find the store there, and then scroll down until it gets to the Ethernet adapter. We have got a, blip, a video on this. If you want to watch that, please find the uh, link in the, in the comments. And then basically, what you'll get is in a couple of days, you'll get sent out an Ethernet adapter. So this is a Starlink Generation 2 Ethernet adapter. It's very simple to install. Let's pick up the Generation 2 uh, Starlink router. And this is the cable uh, going out to the dish. In fact, you're supposed to take the power out first. So we'll take the power out. That's the power for the router. Ah, it's always tough to get this out. <laughs> take that out. And then take out the dish cable. Take out the dish cable. And then you take the cable from the dish and put it into the uh, end of the Ethernet adapter until you get a nice clip. If it goes in at all. Oh, yeah, that's it. You get a nice clip. And then you take the cable from the Ethernet adapter from the Starlink and put it into uh, the bottom of the Starlink router. So that's the adapter cable. And then you put the power cable back in to boot the router back up again. And after a couple of minutes, that Starlink should be back up online. And what that's done basically is it's allowed you to have an Ethernet connection on the Starlink. So it means that you can get a cable into here and when we're ready, we can plug into the uh, internet port on the bottom here on the uh, Dream, Dream Router. However, there is one more thing we need to do. And the reason for that is uh, the Starlink is a router at the moment. So it is uh, doing a routing job and this is also doing routing. So what we want to do is we want to put the uh, Starlink into what's called bypass mode or bridge mode. Uh, and basically what that does is it allows the, um, the internet just to be passed through. There's no routing going on, so you're not going to get any double NAT. Um, it's just a better way of doing things. You can plug that straight into the uh, Dream Machine and it will work, but it's not a good way to operate. It's a bit messy. You're going to cause yourself a few problems. So we're going to do it properly. So to put the Starlink into bridge mode, you need to go into the app. And then once you're in the app, you go to settings and then you go to advanced under Wi-Fi configuration. And then at the bottom there it says bypass Starlink Wi-Fi. Uh, and you just tick that and that's it. Press save, say okay to this, and then it will save those settings. So when you go back out um, and it, it will gray out some of the areas and that's just because it's not doing those jobs anymore. Okay, so now we've got the uh, Starlink into bridge mode. What we need to do is take the ethernet cable and plug it into the ethernet adapter on the Starlink. And then we're gonna take the other end of that ethernet cable and we're gonna plug that into the little world or the uh, internet port at the bottom here. So you just plug that in there. And then what you need to do is get into the settings of the uh, Dream Machine or the Dream Router. And the way you do that is either through just uh, using the app or what I prefer to do is to use a laptop. So I'll just show you now what we're gonna see into, into the laptop side and then uh, how it's gonna be configured. So uh, the first thing to do is open a browser and then in the browser just type 192.168.1.1. You might find the browser window opens by itself automatically, um, but this we're just doing it this way. And that takes you into uh, the UDR or the Unified Dream Machine. So there you are, UDR, set up UDR at the bottom. We're just gonna click on that and uh, we'll be ready to go. Okay, so um, I'm gonna skip a lot of these steps. We're just gonna leave that as a default name, give it a tick, skip, and we'll skip that. 
um, and then we're gonna have to sign it we don't want to sign in so we're just gonna skip this as well I will have to create a password for this unfortunately and that's just local configuration password uh, it doesn't accept the password so we're gonna have to change that unfortunately oh, password one two three all right oh they're not the same so I'm making the right hash of this let's get these the same capital P and then we can save that okay so now what it's trying to do is it's trying to connect to the internet it's just using that DHCP because um, DHCP is the default um, setting that unified resources use they will search for uh, DHCP uh, connection before anything else so we're just waiting for that to connect takes a little while oh no internet sort oh there we go okay so it's up so that's it that's how you connect to, uh, connect to the internet it's up and running now and now what we can do is we can stop to think about what we're going to do in terms of the configuration but this video is not about configuring a udr it's about um getting the internet connected via the starlink so we're not going to go into any more detail on that Okay guys, that's it. That's how you connect the internet uh, or connect a Unify router uh, to the Starlink. As you can see, this still needs uh, finishing setting up, but it does have an internet connection via the Starlink, um, which is what we are trying to achieve today. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do comment, ask any questions you want. Um, subscribe to the channel, that'd be fantastic. And you can also check us out on Instagram as well. Thanks very much, bye.